everyone, today is an exciting video because today I'm going through all my anticipated book releases of 2023. There is quite a long list, so I'm going to start straight away and I'm really excited. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you the cover and then read the premise and then hopefully you'll get excited about these books too because I cannot wait to read them. I'm probably not going to get to all these books next year, but I'm going to try. I will give it a good go, but otherwise they'll all be added to the endless TBR that I have. When I talk about these books though, I'm not going to give a full premise, I'm just going to give you like the main points because for me, I don't love to read a full blurb before I go into a book. I kind of like to be a little bit surprised. So if you find any of these books a little bit interesting and you want to find out more about them, then go look at Goodreads. The first book that I absolutely cannot wait for is The Stolen Air by Holly Black. This releases on the 3rd of January, so super, super soon. And if you don't know already, this is like a second series to the Cruel Prince series, and it's about Oak, but he's like all grown up now. He's a teenager, and we get to see everything that he's doing, which I cannot wait. I've been seeing lots of people on TikTok that have already got the book but they had to sign NDAs to get it. It's just like that big of a deal. Like I am so excited. So this book follows 17 year old Oak who has been promised to marry the runaway princess of the Court of Teeth. So I assume he goes to like save her after she's run away but now it says that he is charming and mischievous so I can't wait to see him all grown up and I also can't wait to see if we get a little cameo from Jude and Carden. One of my favourite book couples there is so if they're in that book I will have a heart attack, a happy heart attack. I just cannot wait. My hands are going because I'm excited. The next book I have on the list is The Invocations which we're releasing on the 27th of June and this is by the author of The House of Hollow, which was so popular this year, and I never read it, but it's like a gothic book, and I feel like this will have very similar vibes. That bird is very loud, but I'm quite excited for this. So it says it's kind of like a mystery thriller, but with fantasy and supernatural aspects in it, which... It sounds amazing, so I'm really excited. The first line of the blurb sounds so good. It says, A darkly seductive witchy thriller where both men and demons lurk in the shadows. Girls refuse to go quietly into the night. I love witches. Witchy thriller. Sign me up. So it follows Zara, whose sister's been murdered, and she turns to the occult to bring her sister back from the dead. And it also follows a character named Jude, who is a billionaire who believes she is cursed. So they're both entering in the witchy scene, and they meet a girl named Emma, who's the daughter of a witch. So they all meet, and then there's like dark secrets, and I think it will be great. I love witchy stuff, so this is going to be amazing. Next is A Ruinous Fate by Kaylee Smith, which is also releasing on the 3rd of January, and this is the first book in a new series, and it sounds amazing. Again, this is following a witch named Calliope, and she believes she has a streak of bad luck. So in this magic system, all the witches have their power tied into powerful artifacts, and for this one, it is the witch's dice. So from reading the summary, it sounds like it's got witches, fae, Spooky forests. It sounds like a whole vibe and because it's a series I feel like It will probably leave on a cliffhanger, which I don't know if I'd want to start it this year because I hate having to wait for books, but It sounds like it could be an amazing series Next is the Isles of Gods by Amy Kaufman, which is releasing on the 2nd of May and this one says it has magic romance and slumbering gods clash in the start of a riveting fantasy series that spans gangsters, dens, forgotten temples, and high seas. Sounds very interesting. So kind of like piratey, I assume. And it's a series. So looking forward to great things. So the main character's ship gets commandeered by a prince. It's giving Nikolai vibes. I am excited. Love a good little piratey bit. And I think this is going to be great. I think there's a war in it as well, so I assume they team up. Maybe a little enemies to lovers. 
Next is a debut from Gabby Burton. It's called Sing Me to Sleep. And this is releasing on the 27th of June. And it's about a siren that has to choose between protecting her family and following her heart in a prejudiced kingdom where her existence is illegal. Sounds interesting. And again, I think this is also supposed to be uh, an enemies to lovers. So it seems like she's going to fall in love with the prince whose father made up like the segregation laws of these creatures because she is a siren. I guess he is a human. I don't actually know, but it sounds great. Next is Venko by Sherry Dimmerline, and this releases on the 7th of February, and it's about witches once again. Venko Coven, right? It's about this girl named Lucky who is living with her grandma in an apartment in Toronto, and they're about to be evicted, but then one night she finds a silver spoon with Salem carved into it. So we've got witches. The next one is not really a fantasy, it's more of a romance slash fantasy. Not even a fantasy romance. Romance first, fantasy second, I feel. But it's called A Witch's Guide to Fake Dating a Demon. If you know me, you know I love fake dating, so immediately the title caught my eye. But this is by Sarah Hawley, and it is going to release on March 7th, so super soon once again. So this follows our main character who accidentally summons a demon, and he tries to bargain with her, and it seems sort of, again, a little enemies to lovers thing. But a romance book with little supernatural elements? Sign me up. I cannot wait for this one. Okay, next we're going to move into the horror category. Horror slash thriller slash mystery, I guess. Um, I don't have any books in this category, so I'm just going to go really quickly. The first one is How to Sell a Haunted House by Grady Hendrix, and this is releasing on the 17th of January. Another one that's super soon. A lot of these books are releasing really early in the year, which makes me so excited. But... I mean, the title kind of gives away what the book is about. It's how to sell a haunted house. So it's set after the pandemic and it's about these two siblings that have to sell their parents' house after they died. So I don't know if they died in the house and that's why it's haunted or if it was haunted beforehand or if they died because it was haunted. Either way, I'm excited and I love Grady Hendrix books. I've read The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires and Final Girl Support Group also by this author, so I can't wait. I think it'll be great. Again, looking forward to this book because this author is great for this genre, I think. Next is The Only One Left by Riley Sager, and this releases on the 20th of June. Now, I'm still yet to read a Riley Sager book. I do have Lock Every Door on my shelf. And I really do want to get to that soon, but I do love mystery thrillers, so I know he's a really popular author for the genre, so I feel like I need to read his books. And this is a new one, so I thought, why not put it on the list? Because either way, I'm excited for new books. So this book is about a young caregiver who is assigned to work for a woman who was involved in a massacre decades earlier. Sounds spooky, sounds mysterious, sounds very interesting. So the next book would be more considered a cosy mystery. It's by Jesse Sutanto who wrote a Dial A for Aunties and Four Aunties and a Wedding, which were both like my favourite books that I read in 2022. I feel like this will be amazing. I never said what it was called, but it's called Vera Wong's Unsolicited Advice for Murderers. What an amazing title. And this releases on March 14th. I can't wait. So this book is about Vera who lives and works at a tea shop. She lives in the apartment above and then one morning she goes down into her tea shop and finds someone dead on her floor holding a USB. So there's a mystery involved there and she tries to solve it. So I loved her Dial A for Auntie series so I'm sure this book is going to be absolutely amazing and I cannot wait for it. So the next three books are all sequels but I've got One of Us is Back which is the third book in the One of Us is Lying series by Karen McManus and this is releasing 
on the 25th of July and I loved the first two books in this series so I'm quite excited to see what happens next. So this one once again is all about the secrets of the main characters. I think it doesn't actually give a name of who it's involved so I assume it's still the characters from the first book and the characters from the second book. Apparently one gets kidnapped or something and I don't know. I'm intrigued and obviously I will read it. I've read like every single one of her books so this one's a no-brainer instant pickup for sure. Next book is The Brothers Hawthorne by Jennifer Lynn Barnes and this releases on the 29th of August. Now I actually have not read any of the Inheritance Games books yet. I have them all and I will read them very shortly because I love mysteries and mystery series are even better. But I don't know if this is like the fourth book, if it's a prequel, if it's a separate series. I don't know. Either way, I'm interested. So I don't know who it's about and I don't want to read the summary in case it spoils anything for the previous books since I haven't read them. So if you've read the other books and you're excited about this book or you only just found out that there's going to be another one, go find the summary yourself because I will not be reading it. Next is Hellbent by Leigh Bardugo which releases on January 10th and this is a sequel to Ninth House which I have not read. So again one I probably won't re read for a while since I haven't read the first one but I love Leigh Bardugo and I love her writing so I'm sure these books are great and it's like a dark academia mystery type vibe which I'm all about it, for sure. But this cover, kind of creepy, kind of fun. I love it. Again, can't read the blurb because I don't know if it's going to spoil anything. But I'm sure so many other people are excited for this book because she is such a popular author and for good reason too. Next, we're going into the final genre, romance. Everyone's favourite genre, I'm sure. The first book that I'm excited about is Secretly Yours by Tessa Bailey. This releases on February 7th and it's the first book in a new series. So this new series is called A Vine Mess and the second book, which is also on my list, is coming out later in the year. This is like a second chance romance. So the main characters knew each other when they were younger and they've moved in next door to each other. How exciting. The main guy, his parents own a winery, so that's where the title of The Vine Mess comes from, I guess. But I'm quite excited for this one. I'm actually currently reading It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey also, and I'm quite enjoying it. So I feel like I like her writing and I'm looking forward to her new books. So while we're on this series, I will say the second book. It's called Unfortunately Yours and it is releasing on the 6th of June. So this one is A Marriage of Convenience and I don't know if it's got the same characters from the previous book, if they're connected somehow, if they're a friend, a brother, a sister, I don't know. But either way I'm excited. I feel like it's going to be like a companion book so I don't know if you need to read the first one beforehand but I'll let you know once I read them both. Next is Happy Place by Emily Henry and this releases on April 25th so still a while away for this one but you can already pre-order it on Big W and it's been up on their website for like a couple months already so everyone's excited and you can see why it's Emily Henry. I've read You and Me on Vacation and Beach Read by Emily Henry. I do have book lovers on my shelf and I do hope to get to that in the new year. I've been waiting for summer to read all my romances actually and it's summer now so it's time. So this book follows a group of friends that go on the same holiday every year and the two main characters have broken up but they haven't told their friends so when they get to the holiday destination they have the biggest room that they have to share. So we've got the one bed trope exciting. I'm excited to see what happens. Next we've got Loathe to Love You by Ali Hazelwood which releases on the 10th of January. I am so excited for this. This one and the next one which I'll be talking about are probably my most anticipated of the whole of 2023. I love Ali Hazelwood. I've only actually read The Love Hypothesis. I've got Love on the Brain on my shelf but I loved The Love Hypothesis, one of my favourite romance books of all times. Of all times? Yep, of all times. So I cannot wait for this. This is 
uh, an anthology. It's got three short stories in it and I can't wait to read them all. You best believe I'll be at Big W as soon as it is January 10th. I'll be getting that book. I'll be reading that book on the same day. The next book is another Ali Hazelwood book. It's called Love Theoretically and this releases on the 13th of June. So as you know, Ali Hazelwood amazing but I love how all her books are like academic romance I love to feel smart and then when I read her books I find out new things and I go wow I'm so knowledgeable this is amazing this one is about a professor who on her days off gets some extra cash by being a fake girlfriend and it seems like she falls for one of her clients older brothers yes yes is all I have to say I'm excited. He's also a scientist. He's a physicist. Very interesting. Don't know what that is really. Physics, sure, but physics? I don't know. I'll be reading about it though. Next is Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute by Talia Hibbert, which releases on the 3rd of January. Quite a few that's going out on the 3rd of January. She wrote the Bram Sisters trilogy. I have the first book on my shelf, have not read it yet. But this sounds great. So this follows Bradley, who is a football player, and Celine, who is obsessed with conspiracy theories. So this seems to be academic rivals to lovers, and they end up going to the same survival course. So they're out in the woods together. How fun. They team up, and it sounds great. Next is The Secret Service of Tea and Treason. This is the third book in a Dangerous Damsel series by India Holton, and it is releasing on the 18th of April. I have not read any of the books in this series. It's a companion series, so you can read them out of order. I do have the first one, though, on my shelf, and Scarlett, one of my friends, she read the second one and loved it. So I need to get to both of those really soon, and this one sounds just as good. It's about these two rival spies that have to fight pirates and witches to save the queen, so I assume, again, it's enemies to lovers. I've heard the first one is like quite funny, so I assume this will be too. Love a good rom-com and it's historical. So what more could you want? Next is My Roommate is a Vampire by Jenna Levine. And this is releasing on the 15th of August. So this is about an artist who's struggling to find an apartment and she finds one that's too good to be true. And that's because her roommate is a vampire. And I think this is the author's first book, so I'm excited to see how it is. But it's a romance with supernatural elements. So again, I'm excited. And last on the list is Imogen Obviously by Becky Albertalli, which releases on the 2nd of May. I love the cover for this one as well. Love the colours, love everything. The font as well, amazing. This is a young adult book. I've never read anything by this author, but she was quite popular. And she also wrote Love, Simon, so I feel like her writing must be good if she got a movie adaptation. So I'm looking forward to this one. And that was everything on my list of 2023 anticipated book releases. If you've got any more that you think I would like, put them in the comments. Or if you just want to tell me what books you're also excited for, I would love to know. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Next is going to be my 2022 year reading wrap up where I'm going to go through all my statistics, all the genres I read, and talk about my favourite and least favourite books. So if you don't want to miss that, subscribe. The first line of the... The first line of the... It's about this girl who is being... What? Um... Hmm... I've read the Southern Book Club's Gla- Oh, the su- <laughs> I get- I get- What? I don't know.